The ANC in Johannesburg, meanwhile, was due to hold a meeting today. One of the issues expected to be discussed before the elective conference takes place is, of course, uh, the hospitalization of the former mayor, Mpo Morane, who is the ANC caucus leader in the city of Joburg. We're now joined by ANC Johannesburg spokesperson, uh, Sasabona Manganye. Mr. Manganye, thank you for being with us. Did the meeting happen uh, considering there is no elective conference this weekend, according to Khateng? Uh, good evening and uh, to yourself and uh, to the viewers of uh, SABC. Um, yes, uh, today the regional leadership have met to consider the report from the Conference Preparatory Committee and also from the Regional Dispute uh, Resolution Committee. The Conference Preparatory Committee managed to report uh, the readiness uh, of the ANC to go to conference. And based on the report we received, uh, logistically, we were ready to go to conference this Friday. However, the Regional Dispute Resolution Committee that received disputes from uh, 43 branches, uh, it, um, it has indicated that there are branches that, in terms of the disputes, uh, less than 10 branches, that uh, needs to be given an opportunity to rerun, uh, meaning they must reconvene their meetings and uh, do the work of the BBGMs uh, as required by the ANC. Uh, but also, uh, we also know um, we are also giving the branches that their dispute might have been dismissed on the basis that they are not compliant with the guidelines, an opportunity to make a determination whether they want to appeal. Uh, such a decision or not. So it, it was in the interest of ensuring that uh, all due processes are concluded before we can uh, convene and commence with our regional conference. And of course, when will it take yeah. place now? We have resolved for it to take place on the 27th to the 29th of May, so the end of this month. So we given these two weeks so that in the two weeks period, at least all outstanding issues uh, can be resolved. You know, we didn't want to postpone it uh, to, uh, with a one week, uh, and you find that there are appeals and we still have to postpone again. So definitely on the 27th of May, all due processes will have been concluded. His supporters were saying there in our insert uh, that they hope Mpo Morane can be there. Uh, can you give us any update on his condition? Yes, we, we, we received, um, you know, update from the family that uh, he is recovering very well. Um, um, and uh, all the medical procedures that he went through yesterday uh, and today, at least, uh, they went well, recover soon. Uh, however, uh, the fact that uh, he's not well does not necessarily disqualify him from contesting for any position that uh, he would have been nominated for. Um, he can still contest even in absentia. So that does not uh, necessarily uh, prejudice his candidacy uh, in the conference. If all was in order and the conference was continuing this weekend, uh, he will still be allowed uh, to contest. Uh, he, will, he was not going to be prejudiced. All right, so his name will still be in the, the hat, as it were. Uh, moving to something else, the, the ANC lost power in the local government election. Has there been a lot of introspection around that ahead of this elective conference? Yes, look, uh, the ANC, did, we, we did not take our loss of power for granted. Uh, to us, it communicated a message that our people, the people of Johannesburg, are not happy with the African National Congress. And uh, the people of Johannesburg demonstrated that as much as they are not happy with the ANC, they don't have an alternative. That is why they decided to stay at home and decided not to vote. So the voter turnout, you will know that it was very low and uh, mostly in areas where we are strong. And that message suggested that the people still want the ANC, but they want the ANC to renew itself, rebuild itself, and unite itself so that they can trust the ANC. 
because a divided ANC is not trusted by society. That is why we are working very hard going to all these conferences to ensure that whatever outcomes that are produced are outcomes that are going to assist us to rally all members of the ANC behind the ANC to speak in one voice and ensure that uh, we are able to reclaim uh, power in the city of Johannesburg on the basis that we will have inspired confidence in our people through our conduct and the posture that we take as an organ. Uh, we are serious about uniting the African National Congress, and we know re this renewal is going to translate in the economic emancipation of the people of Johannesburg. Uh, it will translate in ensuring that service delivery is delivered to the people of Johannesburg. Mr. Manganye, and we are going to ensure that reward. However, on that note, what is your response to what an analyst said to us, that looking at the uh, provincial conferences that have already taken place, it's all about who's elected. It's all about the officials. Not much about policy. Not much about all the things that you're talking about. The African National Congress in Johannesburg uh, through the base document that has been prepared uh, with the Provincial Executive Committee, we have been going to all our branches to give them an opportunity to interact with those uh, documents. And uh, I can indicate that, the, yes, there were some of the branches that did not get an opportunity to do so. We are happy that this postponement, in fact, is a good opportunity to can further, and that is the spirit of today's meeting uh, in the, in the, by the regional leadership, that we need to take an advantage of this postponement and ensure that we intensify the discussions and we, 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 we empower and, uh, the discussion documents that we have issued and ensure that key resolutions are proposed uh, to the conference so that when we get to the conference, we are not clouded by leadership contest, but we also focus on policy issues and what is it that we want to do when we reclaim this power in the city of Johannesburg? You know, what kind of mandate are the people of Johannesburg giving to the ANC to ensure that the ANC transform their okay. lives uh, 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 and their communities? All right. So, so those kind of discussions are currently happening in our different branches. And as the regional, re, re, regional leadership, we have today committed ourselves to intensify that process so that uh, our conference is not defined by the contestations only. All right. Thank you so much for your time. And we'll follow this process, uh, these regional conferences, then going to feed into the uh, very important Gauteng elective conference. That was Sasabona Manganye, ANC Johannesburg spokesperson.